Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is English lesson for grade one high school. Our topic is art, and this is the first part of our lesson. My name is Livia, and I will be your teacher today. U ovoj ćemo lekciji analizirati svrhu umjetnosti i kroz lekciju pisat ćete kratak tekst. Za današnji rad potrebna vam je samo bilježnica, pribor za pisanje i nešto dobre volje. Sretno svima i krenimo! Let's read through the quotes here. They are all about art. So art is not a mirror to hold up to society, but a hammer with which to shape it. I never paint dreams or nightmares. I paint my own reality. Art must be life. It must belong to everybody. No great work of art is ever finished. And the last one. I found I could say things with colors and shapes that I couldn't say any other way. Things I had no words for. So all the quotes are about art. Think about it. Try to answer a simple question. What is art? You can even write down some words that you connect to the word art. Maybe something that has just come to your mind. I think that most of you have something like this written down, that art is something personal, that it is a feeling, an expression, imagination. You probably have some more ideas, and that's great. I'm sure you have heard a lot about art so far through your education and that you know that there are different forms of art. That's what our next task is about. On the link provided here, you will find a quiz. This is the front page of the quiz. Please copy this link into your browser. You can also uh, open the quiz on your smartphones or on your computers. But be careful of the spelling. All the letters need to be capital, and there is this number one. If you type the address correctly, this is what you will see, uh, the front page of the quiz on art. Your task is to sort the words into categories. Take your time. It's not difficult. Be careful when reading. Good luck. If you have finished with the quiz, here are E. Visual art, written art, and performing art. So in visual art, the words are ceramics, painting, video, architecture, sculpture, design, and drawing. In written art, poetry, novels, drama, short story, biography. And finally, in the third category, performing art, ballet, opera, and concert. Okay, we are ready now for our next task. I hope this quiz was uh, easy enough. So this is, um, our next activity is the writing part one. I would like you to write a sentence in your notebooks. Starting like this, my favorite form of art is because you can go back to um, the quiz. So we have uh, forms of art uh, pointed out here. You can add any that you like. So the simple doesn't have to be very, the sentence doesn't have to be very long, just a simple one. My favorite form of art is because. Be careful. Choose one, two if you want to, and give a reason why. Great, let's move on. So my first question in this lesson was, what is art? Uh, 
I'm sure we all agree that it's not easy to define what art is. Here is another question. What is art for? Here is a link again. Copy it in your browser. Again, be careful of the spelling. And this is the front page that you will see. Here is the video I would like you to watch. What is art for? It is not very long, only nearly six minutes, and it's very interesting. Watch the video and watch it carefully because there is a task after the video. Have fun! We are ready now for the second part of our writing activity. You will continue writing under the sentence, my favorite form of art is because, but now you will write two short paragraphs. In a paragraph one, you will write a short summary of the video. So what did you hear in the video? Why do we need art? The author mentioned five reasons. You can choose one or two that you find very interesting, maybe surprising, maybe even something that you don't agree with. And you will also give in paragraph two your personal opinion. Here is a list of phrases that might be useful for you in writing your opinion. Some people say that, many or most people believe that, everybody knows that. You can use these phrases in the first paragraph. The second one, in which your task is to give your own opinion, you can use the following phrases. From my point of view, to be honest, I think, I think we need art because I believe that it seems to me that I have no doubt that as far as I understand and as for me, these phrases will help you, I'm sure. And I also know I am positive that it, this will not be difficult for you. Just Take your time, think about it. Can you imagine a life with no art whatsoever? Think about what did we say in the beginning? What is art? It is a feeling, it is something personal, imagination, it's something creative. How would our lives look like if there were no art? Put it on a piece of paper and once you finish, you will have a very short essay, beginning with my favorite form of art is because, then you follow with paragraph one, providing a short summary of the video, and finally you give your own opinion. Well done, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun till the rest of the day and see you in our next lesson. Bye.